Hi there and welcome to the new video how to create pie chart within Power BI. So before creating the pie chart the question arises what is pie chart and why would you actually create a pie chart how it will be helpful in your report or a dashboard. So let's look at the first question what is pie chart. So pie chart is sort of a circle sort of shape which shows the contribution or the percentage contribution of each category for example if you have the product and you are selling it into different regions then it shows how much you are selling in a one particular region for example let's say in west you have 60 percent sale in in east you have 20 percent sale and in north you have 20 percent sale then it shows this visualization uh, in a very uh, meaningful way which is showing you the overall contribution of sales in various regions. So that's about pie chart but since it is one of the oldest form of a chart if you will see any historical report which goes back to 10 or even 20 years pie chart has been used a lot by the reporting analyst or the statisticians. So the question arises why would you like to even use it today? whether it will going to really provide a meaningful information because it's been seen by pretty much everyone. So what sort of innovation it can provide to your report? Well, only in this scenario when the contribution is impactful. What that means is if you have a sales and 80% of the sales is happening in the West region and you want to highlight that the pie chart is useful. But if it is something like 30% sale is happening in West, 30% in East and rest 40% is in North, then this chart is not useful. I would never recommend you would use this chart. If you would have to use this, probably use the bar chart with the right axis, but don't use the pie chart. So pie chart, you will going to use it only and only when you have the high impact category that you want to show within your report or visualization. Now let's go ahead and see how to create pie chart within Power BI. All right, so here we are within Power BI. And what do we have for creating the pie chart is this icon, which you can see sort of uh, which shows you a uh, circle shape. And it has the two parts, the blue part and the white part. All right, so if we click over here, it shows you again the same contribution, the first contribution, second, third and fourth. and what I'm going to choose to show you the impact is the shipping mode. So if I just select the shipping mode, so shipping mode is blank, delivery truck, express here and regular here. And I will going to show the sales. Now, this is an impactful chart. Why? Because more than 50%, the 50.3% is being contributed by just one single category. And what it is, is regular here. That means for your business, this is one of the important category which you may want to highlight. And the second important category is basically the delivery truck. And the very least business is happening with the express here. So all these three categories is showing the impact that it is making on the business. And it's a very high impact if you will see. Similarly, if you have any other category that if you are experimenting with what type of chart you need to create and you figure it out okay 70 percent is being contributed by one single category and uh, rest other categories is contributing 10 percent or five percent i think that's where you will again going to use it but there is another rule if your categories are going to increase by the let's say you have five categories eight ten categories then also i suggest that don't use it if you have just three or four categories and Again, those are high impact categories, some of the uh, from from those categories, then you use this Power BI. Otherwise, there is no point that you use it because it will going to confuse the user if the contribution is relatively same. And probably to demonstrate that what we can do is we can take this region and let me just try to put it on top of the uh, ship mode and remove this. So now if you see this is not a very meaningful chart. Again, you your categories are going beyond five, like one, two, three, four, five. First thing is you will your eyes will have to do a lot of ex, lot of exercise, or your end user eye will have to do a lot of exercise. Okay, what is this color? 
what is this color where is this vest okay this is the vest here is the vest whether this is high or this is high whether this is high or this is high you will not be able to see until and unless you clearly uh, again do an exercise of looking at each and every number over here so this type of chart in my view is a confusing one and i would i generally don't recommend and i don't use it because first categories are going beyond five and then there is a very less percentage margin between each or among each categories so that's why i wanted to show you both the ways as to when to use it and when not to use it now i leave it up to you uh, as to make the decision uh, when do you want to use it but that's about how you will going to create the chart and then you always have the option of format it by going into the formatting over here and formatting is pretty much the same so i'm not covering it again and again but if you are interested in looking into this information and want to ask any question let me know in the comments but that's about it and i'll meet you in the next topic which is similar to pie chart uh, or a form of a pie chart which is a donut chart